Hello friends! Welcome back to my latest edition of Life in the Time of Corona. Okay, so this episode will be about how things are beginning to fall apart at the seams. There are plenty of things to do, yet I'm also somehow bored at the same time. And last, I'm trying out different hairstyles. Okay, so things are coming apart at the seams. So how, what does this mean? A couple weeks ago, I felt quite organized, even though this was thrust upon me. The whole homeschooling thing, it was a lot, but I was ready for it. And I'm like, we're going for our walks every day. We have our schedule. We'll try to even do chores in between, blah, blah, blah. I was able to keep that that first week going. In the past two weeks, it's slowly but surely been degrading into a state of chaos, I'd say. We are not doing our regular walks. We Well, one, they shut down the playgrounds, so that made it more difficult because we would do sometimes playground time, sometimes walk time. We started just uh, every other day having the kids go outside and play in the backyard where we do have a, a play structure, jungle gym type thing. So... We would get to the point where, oh, just go outside, just get your snow pants on and go outside and we'll do the walk tomorrow. We still had outside time for them, but husband and I were getting on the lazy side for that. The house is, is definitely not getting picked up and cleaned as well as it did at first. The start time for school is moving forward. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. I, I need to do a bit of a reboot of let's get organized. Next point. There is plenty to do, yet somehow I'm bored. So I think that it has to do with the fact that like, I have lots of cleaning kind of pertaining to the last point. Things are descending into chaos. So I mean, there's a lot to do to undo the chaotic state of the house, if you will. But I have the to-do list, but I don't want to do it. So I'm wanting to occupy my time with other things, which is, I guess, the usual but I can't go out and do errands outside. So I'm more coming up with other things to put before the to-do list. So I am on Twitter way more. I kind of started getting off of it and focusing more on doing other things. So I've gone back into being on Twitter way too often. I'm getting into checking out apps that a Twitter friend showed me, giving you the ability to see what you would look like in a Renaissance painting. And it takes a while to load. And I was like up until around one in the night, a couple nights ago, cause I thought it was amazing. It is cool, but I mean, I got a little obsessed. So that was fun. Another one I was just doing today was filters to make your photo look old timey. And I decided to extend the invitation to all of Twitter. Who wants an old-timey photo? Send it my way and I'll, I'll make it happen. A real good use of time. Yeah, for that one. Fun. But, you know, I have, like, laundry and dishes and children to feed. So that's a, it's an interesting sort of, um, I guess, result of, of the COVID quarantine. I think I'm, I'm wasting more time than before the uh, social distancing. So that's interesting. Last point, you may notice I got my bangs back. But the thing is though, it's the same bangs. They're still pretty long. I was putting them up, but now I actually just put them in a, in rollers, in some curlers, the foam curlers uh, from my childhood, even though these ones are not the original ones that my mom would put my hair in but yeah I am trying out different hair because I figured why not and I won't feel weird for having a full curl session and there's no reason no reason at all I just want to try it again I guess hearkening back to point number two because of the boredom anyway at least for now my bangs uh situation has been remedied but who knows how long uh that will last we will see so what have you been doing to keep from going crazy what sort of time wasters have you come up with 
Have you been able to keep your house from descending into chaos? How's it going with the kids? Are the kids making life really fun and interesting or difficult or a mix of both? I'm going to guess it's a mix of both. It's definitely a mix of both for me. I hope you guys are staying well. Uh, let me know how you're doing. Again, I'm always curious to see how everyone else is doing. And um, yeah, leave me a comment. Ask me a question. And as always, do not forget to subscribe if you have not yet. Thank <laughs> you.